Welcome to the Craft Cocktail. I'm Derek. I'm that Dan. Is Dan? Dan. You're, Dan. you're new to the show. Well, you're. It's a different channel. Comment cocktails. You've probably seen Dan before, but he's never Sometimes. been here. No. So if you're only watching the Craft Cocktail, this is completely new. He never usually lets me on the sophisticated side. No, no, that's no just, it's just. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want you to gum it all up. Yeah, it's, it's only when it's live. And so Dan is going to make for us. What are we drinking? This is the gin, gin fizz. I love fizz. You know why? <laughs> It's like a gin fix with carbonation. And so, everybody needs a good fix. Yeah. And then, and then this you is add how you, bubbles. This is how you fix the gin fix. Yeah, with exactly. Fizz. So you build me fix. in All here right. two ounces of London dry gin. For that, I'm going to use Bulldog. One ounce of fresh lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of club soda, and a half ounce or whatever, <laughs> whatever you can get for egg white. <laughs> I typically use whatever I can... I don't even want to talk about the egg white situation here, but getting egg white out sometimes can be a challenge. Yeah, especially it was when you a little difficult. Around. So I'm going to say there's a half ounce egg white. I think so. If it's a whole ounce, it's just going to make it silkier, smoother, and better. Yeah. So you're going to dry shake this. Um, I think there's a video. I'm going to put my finger here because I think there's a video up there for how to dry shake. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to shake the entire cocktail without the club soda because fizz explodes under shake. Yeah, that definitely won't help. And then you're, so you're gonna shake it all without that with no ice. Then after you do that for 15 seconds, you're going to pour it on my camera. You're going to. <laughs> getting that's, there. That's why the camera's there. I'm getting there. <laughs> you're going to dry shake that aggressively shake for 15 seconds. Then 15? you're gonna add the ice. Then you're gonna, dry, you're gonna wet shake it for 10 seconds. You gotta start off a little slow first though. You, you don't yes. want that thing to. Yeah, oh yeah, up. you don't want, no. Be, the I can problem, already feel it. Yeah, be, see, the see? problem with with a dry shake is the seal never really completes, so you gotta be careful. I had a napkin, I didn't give it to you because I thought you were more pro, but. Um, I got it. And I'm just giving you a time. I got it. So now he adds the ice and we're good to go. This drink is pretty old, 1862, not much different than the fizz or the fix. Jerry Thomas, again, the bartender's guide to how to mix drinks. Uh, the original recipe was sugar and lemon juice. That's it. That's it. Uh, that might not be. Oh, they had two dashes of egg white. Two dashes of egg white? Yeah. What is that dash of egg white? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, from the hole you put in that egg when we were trying to get the egg white. I could get a dash. You could have got two dashes, dashes of dash. egg white. Yeah, that's true. But, and then they used a soda siphon because they didn't really have Q-tonic back then. Mm -hmm. Or Q-club or any real bottled club sodas. So you did it with a soda siphon uh, because you could. And that should be good because we have... A nice clear piece of ice, which you're not even gonna see, but whatever. You will. It's pretty. Shake out so you get the. You want the foam to lie on the top. It's awesome. And then, and then after a few seconds, it's, it's gonna the the color's gonna kind of yellowify, and the top's gonna be a nice little white white cap. And then we have to it's add the uh, club soda. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't it look awesome? Yes. Ready? That's what I love about egg drinks. Oh, look at the foam. Oh, see that? It's like Alka Seltzer. It is, and it, it does the same thing. Oh, actually, it probably make you less tired. See that? Yeah. When you're drinking that at work and your boss is like, what are you drinking? You're like, oh no, it's for my stomach. It's just Alka-Seltzer. Yeah. It's for it's my fine. stomach. Yeah. I, I think, oh, I still have a little bit in here. You think I can get it in without it? Uh... Oh, you can do it. Oh, look at this. Dude, it's like, a, it's like one of the snow cone drinks. It's, like a, it's a cloud. Look at it. It's a cloud of heaven. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Gin. Lemon I don't, juice. I don't really know if I can get any of the actual liquid. You're going to get a mustache. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So the fix, we said, was kind of like an alcoholic lemonade. Mm. That's drier than a fix. Yeah. Because the egg white, I think. Could also be just the ratios of the... This has, a, I don't know, more sugar maybe? I don't even remember what the old drink was. But egg white tends to dry stuff out. Kind of coat your tongue a little bit. It's smooth. It's silky, but it has that lemon flavor. In yeah, it. it's less. I'm not getting too too much gin. I guess it could also be the dryness. It's less sour. This is true. Than the fix. Yeah, I, it's it's. It's kinda, definitely lighter. It is. It's light, refreshing. This is kind. I don't. I don't know if I'd call this like a porch rocker because it's just it's a lot of work to make a drink that you're gonna sit on the porch and enjoy. Yeah. But I unless you get like the our pre-made cartoned. Egg whites. Oh yeah, we could do that. Just so you could do that. 
I would do that. Get little egg, egg beaters or whatever. Yeah. Use that and you could build these. You could probably make them on the porch. Exactly. Shake it up. Be good to go. I, and the dry shake is optional. What the dry shake is going to do is get you the, the nice foamy head. If you don't necessarily need it, then whatever. you got to do the dry yeah, shake. Because yeah, no, you need the head. I know. It's, a, it's really nice. Because then when you pass it out to everybody, it's like, ooh. Yeah. And, it, and you give it enough time for it and to it come sits. up. And sit. That'll sit yeah. on there for three, 30 minutes. Well, yeah. if this drink lasts 30 minutes, there's a problem. Yeah, that's but true. At least a good five to ten minutes, and you're, that, that foam is going to sit right up. Yeah. That's the beauty of an egg white shake. So you want to use egg whites in your cocktails. That's why they did it back in the 1800s. That's why we do it today. Yeah, and they probably had a lot of chickens back then too. So they were like, oh, I'm sure. what are we going to do with these eggs? I have more chickens than humans. He's like, drink that shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many humans there were, but yeah. there's probably a lot of chickens. Exactly. And farms. Oh, a lot of farms. All right. So th there is your justification for making a good, proper gin fizz. Mm -hmm. You can download the ebook where you're going to get all these recipes. You can drink along with us taste as each of the series goes and it's going to be a good time that link is right below click on it homecocktailmedia.com download and you're going to thank me later or right now and all your friends are going to thank you because then you're going to make better drinks that's the goal to make better drinks that's how we suggest that's you make the gin fizz exactly